Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to do an open cup today um, with Amsterdam Pearl Paints. This is a class I'm going to be teaching at the Fluid Art Experience in Asheville, North Carolina in May of 2024. So I thought I would get to practicing it a little bit, um, trying to find the perfect palette to use in the class. Um, so the next few months are going to be a lot of fun. You guys know how I love to experiment, uh, just kind of play mad scientist and push the envelope. That's what it's all about is getting out of your comfort zone. So a quick tip I wanna to mention to you. Um, you see the DecoArt Silver there. That is a very light color. And believe it or not, it tints very easily and very well. Um, I used it in this piece, in this palette. I added a little bit of DecoArt Satin Enamel, not, not Satin Enamel, my bad. Uh, DecoArt Americana Metallics Deep Sapphire. Just a tad, just enough to turn it a little blue um, because I didn't have any pewter and I really wanted to use pewter in this piece. I have used uh, that silver, I've tinted it pink, I've tinted it lavender. Um, it's a really easy color to tint. So if you're wanting to use a metallic and you don't have it, um, take your silver and take one of your other tube paints um, and put in a little bit of color and voila, you've made a custom color. Uh, pretty fun, that's kind of what I'm talking about when I talk about pushing the envelope, experimenting. Um, you don't have to use a paint right out of the tube. You can mix it with something else and create your own custom colors. That is what it's all about. So back to this piece. Um, I believe this is an 18 by 24 canvas. We are reusing it. I did not like the pour that was on it before. So we're gonna pour right over it. Now you saw the uh, colors that I introduced at the beginning. I did not introduce any of the Amsterdam pearls because again, they are all white when they're wet. They only change color when they dry. And just in using these paints, I have found that using a few additional paints with it or with them tends to create a lot more contrast and some depth because, and I'll show you this later here in the piece, because the way the other paints dry versus the Amsterdam Pearl paints, they dry differently. Uh, the Amsterdam Pearl paints are a little more ethereal, uh, a little more muted, and so it gives the piece a really cool kind of 3D look. And like I said, when we get to the end, I'll kind of point that out and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but that's why I didn't introduce the Amsterdams. We are using red, violet, blue, and green, um, as well as a little bit of white. Now look at the pearls or the cells that have popped up. You can tell the pearl paints because they're all white, obviously, but how much smaller they are than the cells that were created by the fire opal. But if you'll watch, and as I tilt, those Amsterdam pearl cells get so much bigger and they just kind of appear out of nowhere. Um, like stars on, on a dark night. They just start opening up and uh, really making themselves known.
love the cells that I got in this piece so far. I love the movement. I don't like that fire opal being so blobby. Um, that's just one of the things I don't like in a composition is big areas of solid color. I like the color to be kind of, you know, blended throughout uh, to give it some nice contrast. And so I grabbed out my big palette knife and uh, I'm bringing in some of the blue uh, from the base coat to see if I can break up that fire opal just a little bit, give it a little more character. no I'm still not liking it um, it needs a little more contrast in there so I'm gonna take some of the Amsterdam pearl blue and green and white and make some little ribbons through there um, what that's gonna do is create some extra movement and I'm hoping uh, give it a little more 3d effect uh, now remember those are gonna dry in uh, different colors they're all white right now but I mean even the white looks a lot better than just the the fire opal and the blue so I'm gonna throw in some ribbons here and see what we can come up with
Okay, so I will admit adding those ribbons was the best thing I could have done. Now, when I was talking about how the pearl paints dry, look at this area that I'm showing you. You've got the lighter pearls on the left, the darker in the middle, and then the lighter on the outside. Doesn't that look like um, a wall? Because of the darker colors, that's the added uh, deco art silver and sapphire that I added. Um, so it's gonna dry darker than those pearl paints. And it creates um, this illusion of shadows and a 3D look that I just love. And that's why I use additional paints when I use those Amsterdam paints. And yeah, there's Miss You Know Who getting in the way again. Guys, I really love this piece. I love the movement. It's just crazy cool. And I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your viewership. Take care of each other and I'll see you soon.